Ever since I have started playing blade ball, I have always seen people hit the ball at crazy oh speed. That brought a simple question to my mind. How fast can the ball actually go? In this video, I try to answer this question. It all starts with me joining a public server. Alright, so we're in the first game and let's see how fast we can make the ball go. My plan is to rush as many players to make it into a 1v1 showdown as fast as possible. And then that's when I'm gonna get the ball to go really fast. That's why I'm using the electric dash ability. Alright, standoff. Hopefully this player is good and let's see how long he survives. I'm not gonna try to curve the ball because that'll make it a lot harder. Okay, that didn't end well. So new plan this time, I'm gonna try to use Raging Deflect to maybe get some more speed on the ball. Nice kill. The only thing I'm worried about is about raging deflect is that it might make it harder for people to time their hits. Alright, this guy's using it as well. I'll try to save him for the end then. Oh. Nice kill. Let's see if we can kill this guy and then fight the other guy at the very end. Alright. Stand off. I'm gonna use my ability to try to speed up the ball. Don't wanna end up killing him, remember? Just take it slow. I'll stay as far away from him as possible. Perfect. I use my ability there. Just need to time my hits. GG. That went pretty fast, but I think we can do better. It was at this point when I realized I hadn't been playing in a pro server. That means I had wasted all that time. You know what? I've had an idea. Maybe I can go into a pro server and then there might be better players there. Alright, so after thinking for a while, I've had an idea on how to counter these pull users. I'm actually gonna save the Raging Deflect ability when they use the pull ability on me. That's when I'll use it. Because there's about four other people use pull in this server, so I have to be careful. This lobby is really sweaty. Trying to avoid clashing right there. Whoops, used the ability by accident. Hopefully that doesn't backfire. Alright, I'm gonna stand off. So, I'm gonna try to get as much distance as possible from this player. Hopefully, he doesn't come in close. Looks like he's trying to clash with me. Yeah. Alright, I won, but we have to avoid this somehow. What? What? What is this? What just happened to the ball? Are you guys seeing this? I'm joining in a new server. Hopefully the same doesn't happen like last time. All right, so I'm against a jump user. This will be quite hard because he's gonna be jumping up all the time. Let's see how this goes. Going pretty fast right now. I wanted to fight the Raging Deflect user because at least the fight would be a lot more simple. Oh no, he has pull. I'll get rid of him. Stand off. He's gonna use the Rapture ability. I'm gonna try to stay back. There we go. Again, I'm not trying to curve the ball because that might kill him easier. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. Alright. 
Good game, good game. So there's an issue. Either I don't survive long enough, or the player dies too soon. So how can we solve this? I decided to 1v1 my friend in a VIP server, trying to stay alive as long as possible. We even used auto clickers at the end. See how that went. Alright, so I'm here with my friend, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get the ball going as fast as possible. I've already told him what to do, so that'll make things a lot easier. Let's see how fast we can get it to go. So to start things off, the ball's going very very slow also we won't be curving the ball because that'll make things harder to time just simple pass the ball is starting to go pretty fast Getting a lot harder now. Alright, I messed up. That was a pretty good time, but let's see if we can do better. That's a pretty good time. So as you can see here, I have an auto clicker and I'm going to change the milliseconds to every two milliseconds because if I put it at one, my game will lag a lot. And I'll change the hotkey to E. Let's try that. All right, so I'm gonna get up close. Turn on my auto clicker and just wait now. It's honestly crazy how I can just stand here and do nothing. Alright, this time I'll not move around. Let's see if we can get a better time. Alright, new round is starting. I better turn off my auto clicker before I end up dead. Turn it on. And... Yeah. Wow, this is honestly crazy. Alright. So even though both of us were using an auto clicker, we still end up dying after a certain point. So maybe this time we'll try to stand a bit further away from each other. I'm not clicking anything right now. I'll use my ability. Doesn't really make a difference. Wow, the ball is going crazy. Use my ability again, make it go even faster. What if I do this? Backwards. Wow, did you guys see that? In the end, we found out that after a certain point, even though we were both using auto clickers, the ball glitches out. This video has honestly been so fun to make, and I hope you guys enjoyed it just like I did.